Hello loves, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to do no contact. If you have to see them every day, how is that possible? It's hard, but it's possible. And basically, they keep saying no contact. Don't text. Don't call. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, and they'll come running back. Well, how about for the people who have to see each other every day due to circumstances? Maybe you share a child. Maybe you share a job. Maybe you work with each other in some capacity. And there's no choice but to see each other. Unfortunately, they don't cover that gray area. For, for the ones who aren't able to do no contact. The basic advice would be to be cordial. Don't be mean, don't be spiteful, don't be bitter, just be cordial. And in times that you have to communicate, you know, you have to interact with each other, you know, be kind. There's no need for bitterness or spitefulness, you know. You don't have to ignore somebody that you have to see every day just because someone else tells you that no contact is going to fix the entire situation. What about the small percentage of people who don't have that capability of no contact? There's a reason why you're still in contact with this person. There's a reason why you still have some sort of interaction. And the best thing to do is to keep it professional. Maintain the small talk when need be. You don't have to ignore somebody that you have to see on a daily basis. That's just cruel and unkind. And for a lot of my divine feminines, that's not you. So listening to the advice of some people saying that no contact is going to fix all. It's going to be the, you know, super fix it, end all be all, right? Sometimes it's not the case for some of us. And I think that, frankly, it's just bad advice. Because how can you ignore somebody or have no contact with somebody that you have to see, that you have to interact with in some capacity on almost a daily basis. And frankly, it's just, it's just by being your beautiful self. Just maintain you. Maintain your love, your kindness. And don't try to be someone that you're not just because someone says that no contact works. It may work for some, but for the rest of us who don't have, don't have the ability or the choice, we have to find other avenues. And that is just by being you. Whether your person is spending time alone, putting in more hours in work, 
they could be even dating other people or, you know, playing the field. A lot of them do. You know, a lot of unawakened masculines go down that route. But as a divine feminine, I feel like the best advice to give to you is to just be you. Just be who you are, your beautiful, soulful self. Because that is the way that God created you. And no solution of no contact is going to change who you are. And why let it? It's not being selfish to not want to interact with your person. And if it truly is your person, then God set you in a place where you're supposed to be at. So your journey is going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to, regardless of what you do. We're all put through so many tests, so many things that we go through, that we heal and do all this work and all this extra stuff, right? Oh my God. And it's tedious. And a lot of time it's painful. But being a divine feminine has its strengths. Because you're very powerful in your own soul. You're very powerful. So, especially when you're taking advice from others, myself included, make sure you look at your situation. Make sure you understand your situation. You understand your limitations. Because... Every advice isn't good advice. So if you have to, maintain small talk. Be kind. And be professional. No matter what you need to do. I just wanted to interact with you to give you my thoughts on the situation because frankly in my case there's no way I could do no contact I'm just not able to it's it's just not something in the cards especially when you have to see that person every day you know, so I hope this helps. And if this helps, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if you would like advice or if you would just like to talk, please go ahead and email me. My email information is in the description box. It's also in my bio. Many blessings to you, love and light.